So the first thing we need to look at is how to mount the extruder. So when we mount the extruder, we need to line up the bolt holes. There's a metal plate with two holes in it and the plastic mount that the extruder sits on, there's also two holes in that. So the metal plate actually locks in quite nicely into the groove set in the mounting position. So we need to turn that over. The uh, nozzles go downwards and you should be able to slide that around until it locks in place. So before you screw the extruders on, make sure that this cable isn't all twisted up. Okay, it needs to be a fairly smooth transition in a nice loop. Now the most confusing thing about the Flashforge Dreamer is you have four different types of screws. And three of these types you'll get in the box of screws and two of these types you'll also get in the little packet that has the, uh, the air vent. And we're not really going to use much of this, but we do need an Allen key suited to the medium bolts. Now, before we put the bolts in, we do need to also put down the uh, heated bed just to give us more room. So holding that middle plate again, I can push down, push that right to the bottom. Okay, now you can uh, try to wind those in by, by fing your fingers first. Now, it's a bit hard to see, but you have to get down really low to be able to see where those bolts go. And with a hand on top, I can sort of fiddle that around. That first one, I can lift it up a little bit just to make sure I can see where that bolt is going. And once that's in place, I can screw that in just like that. So that's held in place, it's not tight yet. And I'll do the same for the other one. I'll put the bolt in, make sure I get it in the right place. Lift that up a bit, see it's sticking through. There it is, aligned nice and easily. So we've got those two sitting in place and then we just get a hold of our Allen key we can tighten those up. Now if you put the wrong bolts in there, this will uh, be loose and so it won't have the nozzles in the right place. But that's in there, locked on there nice and tightly. And that's the main thing we need to do. So with the cooling vent that we're putting on now, the screw hole is actually underneath the fan just there. So it's a little bit obstructed, a little bit hard to get to, but we'll give it a go anyway. Let's uh, put the cooling vent in place and you can see the holes line up. Now we need to be able to put that screw in without dropping it all over the place. And once that's in the right place, it should sit there. We can get our Allen key and we can tighten that up. So once you have the extrusion unit in place, uh, just make sure that if you're going to move it to a different venue via car or courier or something like that, you remove the extruders from the mount. Because what happens is there's such a top heavy weight, it can slip on the belt up here and that'll put the axes of your guide rails out and then you'll be getting skewed prints, which isn't very nice.